Tensions ran pretty high today as the new Dallas City Council was seated earlier. And as political reporter Jack Fink will now explain, the debate didn't center around who the city council chose as mayor pro tem and deputy mayor pro tem, but rather how long they should serve in those positions. Please raise your right hand. It was all smiles as the Dallas City Council featuring four new members was sworn in. Congratulations. Mayor Eric Johnson said there was no time for acrimony that defined state and national politics. It's not about what divides us. But the political atmosphere changed an hour later when the new council's first official meeting began. Council member Adam Bazaldua proposed changing a council custom in which the mayor pro tem and deputy mayor pro tem serve a two-year term. Uh, I move that the terms for mayor pro tem and deputy mayor pro tem will be one year. As part of the tradition, the mayor, mayor pro tem, and deputy mayor pro tem are represented by council members who are African American, Latino, and white. Council member Kara Mendelson supported the shorter term to give people of different backgrounds a chance to serve in those roles. There's been no consideration to the inclusion of Asian, Native Americans, or Island Pacificers, and other demographic identities like religion, age, disability, sexual identity, and most notably gender. There is a severe lack of respect for women at, this, at City Hall. And so we need to start today to speak openly about it. But Council Member Omar Narvaez said the timing for the discussion was wrong. I didn't come to City Hall to sit in a seat for a year as a participation trophy because I check enough boxes. I came to City Hall to work and I came to City Hall to lead this city. The measure passed 10 to 5. Council members unanimously selected Chad West as mayor pro tem and Jaime Resendez as deputy mayor pro tem. Their terms will expire during the final council meeting of June 2022. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.